As many as 300,000 people who get a concussion are football players, and they are tricky to diagnose. A player might look fine, but develop symptoms hours later. Ursula Perry now on a new portable test designed to take the guesswork away. Football is a tough sport. A hard strike to the head is not uncommon. 21-year-old Tosin University linebacker Zane Ventimiglia suffered not one, but two concussions last season. He didn't see either hit coming, but he felt them after. I remember being pretty off kilter, not very, uh, wasn't able to balance well. Athletic director Nathan Wilder says right after, injury trainers have to rely on subjective tests, like how an athlete looks or says he feels. The kids are pretty resilient, so they'll, they'll, they'll take a hit and they come off and they're okay, and then maybe five minutes later they tell you they're not. Now there's a new portable device designed to give an objective assessment. The brain scope measures brain waves. When somebody hits their head, it changes the brain electrical activity pattern. It's designed so a trainer can use it easily. There's a disposable headset with sensors that attach to the injured athlete's forehead. A smartphone with specialized software picks up the readings. Using the sophisticated algorithms that the BrainScope One implements, it looks for that set of changes that are distinctive of a traumatic brain injury. The readings can help trainers decide whether the athlete needs more advanced medical screenings, a real-time scan for brain injury without hours of delay. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News. The FDA has approved the new BrainScope device, and it's funded by the NFL and the Department of Defense. The BrainScope is already being used by some athletic department personnel, like those at Towson University near Baltimore.